Hello, Pisces souls. Welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki, and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you are new here, welcome. I channel messages from creative expression, such as movies, books, and the music. And I'm excited and honored to be doing this reading for you today. For this series, I will be channeling messages from Wang Chung songs. So here in Iowa, we have what is called the Iowa State Fair, and it goes for about two weeks every year in August, and Wang Chung put on a free concert on one of the stages at the fair. I went with my partner and my uncle, and we had so much fun. Wang Chung exudes so much energy when they are performing, and they are popular for one of their songs, Everybody Have Fun Tonight. And that was the song that they ended the concert on. And even after the concert was over, they stuck around and they took photos with people. They gave autographs. And it was really cool that we got to do that and meet them. And I really appreciate when musicians take the time for their fans in that way. So how the reading will work, Pisces? I will be using a Spotify playlist on my phone called this is Wang Chung. Spirit will choose the song where your channel lyric is from. Then we'll do an intuitive card reading to get some additional messages. So let's see which Wang Chung song has a message for you, Pisces. We have the song Space Junk. So I'm going to go channel the lyrics from that song and I will be right back. Sit tight. Okay, Pisces souls, here are your channeled lyrics from the Wang Chung song Space Junk. I'm riding on the space junk, and it's bringing me to you, bringing me to you through the 10th dimension. I have four decks of cards here. The first that we are going to use is the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. Thank you, Spirit. What are your additional messages for my Pisces souls? We have the Ten of Wands. Next, we'll pull a card from the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? We have the Three of Wands. Planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride in the success of your labors, be patient as you decide what's next. Next, we'll pull a card from the Wild Unknown Spirit Animal deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? We have the hawk. And your final card will come from the Miracles Now deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages for my Pisces souls? To truly flourish is to release all the tension that holds me back 
from letting the love pour through me. Okay, Pisces, let's reflect on your lyrics again. I'm riding on the space junk. I'm riding on the space junk. So I have a few different messages coming in with this lyric right now. The first one is I'm riding on the space junk. What this means is needing to declutter, to make space in your life for the new to come in because everything is energy. So if we are in a cluttered space, that can create a lot of overwhelm and stress and you can't hear your intuition clearly. And the first card that came out of your reading Pisces is the 10 of wands. And this is a feeling of being burdened, overwhelmed, stressed, um, this can also mean not delegating when you need to delegate, asking for help when you need help with something. But also, what it's emphasizing the most in your reading here is clearing your space, cleaning your house, your apartment, your room, wherever you live, making room so new energy can come in that will let go of that negative energy in your space. This also means to let go of the, the junk within yourself, the, the negative um, energy within yourself. Right now we are in a very potent Mercury retrograde, which is bringing up a lot of shadow aspects, okay? So this lyric I'm writing on the space junk, this is like getting ahead of the game here. This is riding on top of the space junk. So what that means is you're two steps ahead of clearing out that negativity, clearing out your space, because if it is overwhelming you, like the Ten of Wands brings, then it will just continue to build and build and build, and your mind will feel cluttered, your energy will feel cluttered, and it will just only contribute to even more stress. So do some cleansing within yourself, doing some shadow work, purging negative energy from within yourself, clearing your space for clarity so you can hear your intuition clearly, because this Ten of Wands energy, it is not serving you, okay? The next lyric in the song says, and it's bringing me to you, bringing me to you through the 10th dimension. So what I'm seeing here is some of you actually do a lot of astral traveling in the dream world when you go to sleep at night. Some of you actually do resonate from the 10th dimension as well. Very high vibrational energy and you're here to do big things. So what you're experiencing right now, for those of you where that resonates, this is not your first rodeo. This is not your first time that you have done this deep shadow work. It is not the first time that you have purged and decluttered and let go of the junk that no longer serves you. It's not the first time you have made space energetically for a cleansing energy to come in, okay? So I'm riding on the space junk and it's bringing me to you, bringing me to you through the 10th dimension. So this is all about your ascension, Pisces. This is about how you are familiar with other dimensions, how well-versed you are in astral travel. I see some of you are even here too teach people how to do that in a healthy way um, because there can be a shadow aspect with that as well if we're not careful. So for some of you, I also feel that you're overwhelmed. Um, I'm seeing some of you are waking up for the first time to these concepts. So that is where 
the Ten of Wands energy is coming from also being overwhelmed by your psychic abilities, your spiritual gifts, um, what you're experiencing in the astral realm. Because I'm seeing if you're just waking up for the first time, it's not something you're used to because you have gone many years without experiencing this. And it's like relearning it all over again. It's actually something you do know very well but when you haven't done it for a long time it can feel like we're rusty with our psychic gifts with uh, experiencing the astral plane the astral realm and just taking it one step at a time with these concepts okay it's okay to feel overwhelmed with this stuff but as you move along your journey you're going to align with a lot of soulmates a lot of spiritual teachers that will help you remember how you overcame it in another life and how to overcome it in this one, all right? The next card in your reading is the Three of Wands. So now with this newfound energy that you are coming into, after you move out all of that space junk, as you ascend, as you are awakening, there is a lot of forward planning for the future. That's what the first line in this card says, planning for the long term, figuring out what you're creating in the present moment right now to contribute to your amazing future. You can create whatever you want, Pisces. Abundance from past choices. So those difficult lessons that you learned from the past, abundance coming in because you're in a place now where you appreciate the present and you're letting the past go. This is a a really consistent energy through all of the zodiac signs right now. Really learning to let go of the past and coming into abundance because we're letting go of that lack mindset. We're letting go of the notion that there is not enough, knowing that that is a lie, that there is plenty for everybody on the planet. Pride in the success of your labors. Be patient. As you decide what's next so there's also this energy of feeling overwhelmed because you're not sure what to do with this new energy you're not sure what to do in the next part of your journey here you're not sure what decision to make with something in your life right now spirit is saying to be patient with yourself don't be hard on yourself these are energies that we are all navigating together it's very rapid at this time the shadow is coming up like no other so be patient as you navigate this energy and as you decide what your next steps are going to be on your journey pride in the success of your labors so whatever you are moving towards you're going to be successful pisces so believe in that and that will help to curb the overwhelmed stressed feeling that you're experiencing right now by focusing on the success you're going to experience, the joy, um, and bringing that into your present right, your and bringing that into your present moment right now to feel it, because the key is the present moment, and choosing to be happy, to be joyful right now. That doesn't mean to sweep negative emotions under the rug. That means to feel what you need to feel, but you can choose how you want to feel. You are in control of your emotions. That's one of the biggest lessons we come here to learn. With the hawk, this is just like a metaphor of soaring over that overwhelmed feeling, soaring over that stress, um, flying high in the sky. And I'd like to open up my, my Claire audience and see what else Spirit is bringing through because on the card here, we do have a little bit of red, orange and yellow so your lower three chakras doing some work to bring those into balance because if they are out of balance then the whole chakra system does not flow as it is supposed to sometimes light workers get into the habit of only focusing on the upper chakras when all of them need to be balanced and cleansed and a lot of focus should be put on the root, sacral, and solar plexus because that is what 
needs cleansed the most, especially while doing shadow work at this time or any time that you're doing shadow work, really. But I'd like to place my hand on the hawk here and see what spirit is bringing through for my Pisces souls. Thank you. I'm hearing the word ricochet. So it's like your past experiences, it's what they're showing me. Let, let's say there was a difficult situation in your past and it's like, let's say this situation is a metaphor for a box and it just says your past on it, okay? And there's a hawk sitting on top of the box. I'm seeing how the hawk is just pushing off of the box and like flying away like ricocheting off of the box. Or I'm seeing another metaphor where sometimes birds, they will run into something, but instead of letting that obstacle deter them, it's like picking themselves up, turning around, and continuing to fly off where they are meant to go. Not letting the fact that they smacked into a tree or a glass window deter them from their journey. So I'm seeing that you will have these obstacles where it feels like that, but Spirit is saying to get into a mindset where you just ricochet off and keep going. Like if this direction isn't meant for you, ricochet into another direction, all right? What else, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, there's also an overwhelming negative energy around some of you, and I'm hearing to watch your back. There are people around you that want to deter you from your mission here, okay? And you'll know who these people are because it will feel like a distraction. Um, when you are shining your light and then something happens like you get in an argument with someone or someone says something to put down the work that you are doing, that is a distraction, okay? Do not let distractions deter you from your mission. Do not let toxicity deter you from your mission. Discern what the distractions are. This will really, really help you. Because I'm also seeing some of the overwhelm that's coming from the Ten of Wands here. It's due to other influences trying to get into your head about what it is you're here to do or just something in general something that you feel very passionate about something that you love to do and then being met with resistance from certain people in your circle watch your back okay there are snakes around you and these people will reveal themselves because as the energy raises on the planet any untruthful manipulation, anything that is not love, it will be revealed for all to see. It, these types of people can't get away with this for very much longer, all right? And we also have to have compassion. But unconditional love does not mean unconditional acceptance of bad behavior remember that, all right? Your last card here, to truly flourish is to release all the tension that holds me back from letting love pour through me. So the Ten of Wands here and this card go very well together because the Ten of Wands is representing all the tension that is flowing through your body right now, Pisces. Spirit is saying, to do what you can to release that tension and let love flow through you instead. You can do this through meditation where you close your eyes, you relax, you take some deep breaths and you let that tension be there, right? You just let it be there. But as you take breaths and you focus on relaxing, you let the tension go through your breath work that you're doing and you focus on letting love in 
letting that unconditional love that you have for yourself flow through your system, releasing the tension. Also, Pisces, you're a very emotional sign as well, so and very empathic. So being in a body of water, taking a shower, and letting the tension go down the drain with the water, it's a very powerful practice, okay? So there are many ways you can go about releasing this tension. But I would like to open up my Claire audience some more and get some more information on your situation here. Like the main points, what spirit wants you to know, all right? Thank you, spirit. What are your additional messages from my Pisces souls? <laughs> I'm hearing that phrase from Game of Thrones, winter is coming. So some of you may be a big fan of Game of Thrones, and I feel like there's actually some very symbolic messages in that show for you. So if you've thought about watching that show, definitely give it a go, because you might find that there are certain situations in that show that resonate with you. But what Spirit is saying is winter is coming. So that's all about, like, a coldness. Um snowfall, just a very cold season in one's life. What are you referring to in regards to winter is coming, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, for some of you, I'm hearing the word snatched. So I feel like there's going to be a situation where something is stolen, something is snatched from you. And the situation is going to reveal true colors of people in regards to the true colors of people, especially when I was hearing watch your back. Um, there are people who... Okay, some of these people have stolen from you before. It's not the first time that they've done it. But I'm seeing some of you didn't 100% have the proof about who did it, so you couldn't really pinpoint it. I'm seeing your intuition was telling you who did it, those of you who have experienced this. Um, but this person is going to attempt to do something along those lines again. Um, but it actually will be happening for your highest good because it won't be able to be denied. The proof will be there in the pudding, and this will be the catalyst for you moving in another direction away from this person who doesn't value you or your things, whatever it is that they are planning to steal. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, this is going to be a powerful lesson in learning who you can rely on and who you can't. We should invest in people that we can rely on, but sometimes... We're put in situations to learn very valuable lessons so that it's easier to see who we cannot rely on. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't love these people, but there needs to be boundaries and a moving away of your energy. Because once you move away from energies that have been holding you back, contributing to the tension within you, then you will be much happier. You will flourish more because it says to truly flourish is to release all the tension that holds me back from letting love pour through me. And sometimes unconditional love is saying no to people. Sometimes unconditional love is walking away from toxicity. Sometimes unconditional love is being true to yourself and what it is that you need 
listening to what it is you need out of a relationship and walking away from those who don't value you, especially if they're stealing from you, Pisces, okay? Any other messages for my Pisces souls? Thank you, Spirit. I'm being shown someone swinging in a hammock. So the energy has kind of shifted here. It's one of relaxing and just taking in your environment. Um, it feels like the overwhelmed energy of the Ten of Wands has left. And you're in this place after letting this go where you're just... Resting easy, swinging on a hammock in a very beautiful place. Um, some of you are reading books, drinking your favorite drink, sitting with a loved one in the hammock. Um, this is what's on the other side of letting go of this tension. This is what spirit is bringing through. Any final messages for my Pisces souls? Thank you, spirit. They're also saying something about not wishing your life away, but instead to set powerful intentions about how you would like things to go. Because our words are very powerful, so if we say things like, I wish this day was over, I wish my work day was over, then it's creating this energy that's building with momentum over time of wishing one's life away. And the key is to live life fully, to embrace everything, especially where you are right now, and taking steps towards what you want to create with that Three of Wands energy where you're planning for the long-term Pisces. Don't wish your life away. This is one of the most beautiful experiences that we have as humans. And yeah, we do go through difficult things, but on the spiritual journey, we learn that it's all a part of a higher purpose, a higher plan, and it's truly beautiful. So just keep ricocheting like that hawk, okay? And let go of the tension that is holding you back so that you can get to that easy breezy hammock where you're just resting and taking all the beauty of your surroundings in, all right? That is all that I am seeing. Those are your messages. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I'm excited and honored to have done this reading for you today. If you liked any of the decks of cards I used, I'm linking those in the description box down below as well. I also do a podcast called the Slumber Party Massacre Podcast with four amazing women, my sister Lacey, Rebecca, Carly, and Heather. If that's something you're interested in listening to, I'm linking that in the description box down below as well. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.